Coming live and of course today all eyes are on the Minister of Finance, Praveen Gudan, who will be tabling his midterm budget today. So analysts expect the Finance Minister, Praveen Gudan, to hint on possible changes to tax law when he presents his medium term budget policy statement in Parliament. Our colleague Leanne Manners is in Parliament this morning. Let's cross over to her. It's a very good morning to you, Leanne. Vanessa, a very, very good morning to you. Yes, indeed, broadcasting live from Parliament this morning. And uh, what a beautiful day it is in Cape Town, I have to tell you. When we arrived here, uh, the wind picked up slightly. A little bit of a chill in the air last night. But this morning, the skies are blue. There is not a single breeze. It is absolutely magnificent ahead of this medium-term budget that's expected to be delivered to the National Assembly at around about 2 o'clock this afternoon by our Finance Minister, Pravin Godan. And I can tell you one thing. Every Everybody is watching and going to be listening exceptionally closely to every word that our finance minister has to say. I'm not sure it's uh, uh, been as uh, um, closely watched ever before. And uh, this is also on the background of an economy that uh, no doubt is under a lot of pressure. And we're going to see what the finance minister has got up his sleeve to try and help us get through this very, very tough time that we as South Africans find ourselves in. Um, I think Palessa alluded to those tax increases, and that's what a lot of people are expecting as well when the finance minister does deliver that uh, that speech to us this afternoon something we don't necessarily enjoy but uh, i think it could be a reality let's look at some other issues that uh, are going to be spoken about or that a forecast to be spoken about uh, he I suppose has alluded to plans to reduce government spending. It's been a very big issue. A lot of people complaining about that and uh, it's quite interesting to see how he plans on doing that. So that's government spending, raising taxes, something we've spoken about, and also to cut that budget deficit to 3.2% of GDP in this next fiscal year from 3.9% in the previous year. Uh, that's a big task, but something that uh, he has said he would like to do. Now, this of course is all happening in the background of two things. Firstly, the one where we've got ratings agencies that are listening to every single clue that's going to come out of this budget to decide whether or not South Africa should be downgraded to junk status or if it should remain above that notch uh, where it isn't quite in junk status but uh, uh, hovering around that mark. So it's a very, very important moment where you'll see those ratings agencies listening very, very closely for some clues. So he has got that hanging over his head and then there's that major issue of what's about to happen on the 2nd of November. There's a case, we all know about the case, that fraud case hanging over him and uh, he is expected to appear. And uh, I suppose a lot of people also going to be looking for some signs of nervousness within our finance minister or if he's going to stand up and be as professional as he always is, delivering that budget without any flinches. So as I said, today the camera's focused on the finance minister and it's not going to only be about the numbers. There's a lot more hanging over him and we certainly are going to be watching him very, very closely. Now, I'm not going to be here analyzing all of that alone today. We've got some wonderful analysts that are going to be joining us today to give us their opinions. And our first one uh, will happen, I suppose, in around about 10 minutes from now. Dennis Dykes from Ned Bank, great guy to speak to. Uh, he'll uh, break it down for us and hopefully tell us uh, in a way that you and I can both understand what this midterm budget means for us, how important it actually is, and how it's going to affect our pockets, because our pockets are the ones that we're worried about, aren't we? All right, so that's what to expect out of Cape Town today. But uh, there's a lot more action happening. That's happening this afternoon, so we're just previewing it. Vail and I know is at OR Tambo International Airport, and that's where the action is this morning. As sundowns, our champions of Africa, arrive back in South Africa. Uh, let's go uh, to Joburg studio because I think the